All right, chip of the day. This is a strange one, very esoteric part. <laughs> An AM25LS2521. How's that for a mouthful? It's an 8-bit equal to comparator. All right, so you have 8 bits here and you have 8 bits here. Are they the same? If they're the same, give out a signal. That's what it does. We can look at its block diagram here. It has a whole bunch of exclusive NOR gates, okay? And uh, we have uh, some buffers on the input, inverters, and these inverters go into these uh, exclusive NOR gates. And then it goes into this big AND gate, okay? Big giant AND gate. So these all have to be equal, and then it'll go through. And here's the, uh, here's the formula. I did a video on uh, how you read these Boolean things, but it's uh, A and uh, exclusive nor with B0. Anyway, it's this weird weird thing. But it, what it does is it takes these, uh, takes this A, it's hard to see here on the screen probably, but it takes this A and this B, compares the two, this A and this B compares those two, this A and this B, right? And it goes through all of those and then it adds them all together, make sure that everything's a match, everything has to be equal. If one thing is off, Okay, it's gonna it's gonna uh, it's gonna be wrong, and um, so then it gives an it gives an output. So let's see here. Let's look at uh, the pinout. This is a terrible data sheet. Sorry, it's not didn't, kind of fuzzy, but it has uh, 20 pins, VCC and ground. 19 is the output, and pin one is an enable pin. Uh, so that's kind of that's kind of interesting. There's a, an enable pin on it as well. And uh, yeah, I say we hook one up and make it work. Uh, these, uh, what it looks like, these are in hermetic ceramic packages. That's pretty cool. But I have one over here, okay? And I need to describe what this is. So uh, we have a 555, five, five, let me go out of ways. We have a 555 five, five timer. It's just sending a squirrel wave into this device, which is a GAL 22V10. This is programmable uh, uh, array logic, and it's just an 8-bit counter. It's just programmed to be an 8-bit counter. So we've got 8 bits counting here, and those 8 bits are going to be compared to some static number. Those 8 bits will be counting, and then if the count number ever reaches the other matching number, I'll get a pulse out, right? So we're going to be using the logic analyzer portion of the uh, Keysight scope. And uh, so let's, uh, we need some power though, don't we? Yeah, let's get some five volts onto it. All right, uh, so I'm going to be using the uh, digital button here, make it into a uh, uh, logic analyzer type of thing. We'll turn on the power and there you go, it's counting. I think you can see that we've got bit zero, one, two, three, four, all the way up to bit to bit uh, seven. So these are the counts. The very top line is the um, comparator pin, right? If if we get a match, that will be asserted. So let's put the trigger here in the middle. Let's see here. Setting the trigger was not applied. Blah 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 blah. Let's go here. Let's turn this off. Okay, I think you can see that. We have a little glitch there, okay? That little glitch is the uh, comparator pin saying something is equal, okay? And the nice thing about LS logic is that you can float pins. You don't have to have them tied high or low. In CMOS land, you always have to have, have, to have something high, high or low, but in LS land, you can just let things float and they're ones. So, so basically, the A port of the comparator is is this count, and the B port of the comparator is is FF, because all of the pins are floating now, FF. So we're getting this glitch when D0, D1, da 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 D7, when they're all one. So we have one, 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 and we get a little pulse at the top, okay? So I'm gonna change one of the pins, one of the B pins uh, bits to ground, and I think you can see now we have a uh, situation where it's a high, high, low, high, 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 high. Okay, so I've changed that one bit. 
and it said, okay, I'm going to fire when I see that one bit. Let me move it over to a different bit. How about this one? Let's see here. Um, okay, on this one, it's high, 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 oh, low, high, high. So I've changed bit, uh, bit four. Um, so there you go. That's how it works. So you could use this. Um, you could have a situation where you have a particular uh, error code or something. You want to, you, when it hits some number, you want to generate an error code. And you could use this to look at the data bus. And whenever you see a particular number go by, you can have this thing uh, go onto a interrupt line and interrupt the processor if it sees this particular code. Like I said, it might be some error code. It might be some goodness code, whatever. Or you can use this to like count to a particular number, count to uh, 241, and then have it start over. So you could have, instead of it always counting to 255, you could have it count to a certain number and then reset. And so you could have a programmable counter this way. So uh, you could add a little dip switch here, like a little eight, eight digit dip switch, and you could put in whatever uh, value you want there and uh, program those pins to that. Or you could hook up those pins to a microprocessor and program the microprocessor over here and uh, set those bits from a port, right? But you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Anyway, comparators are very, are very good. Um, I built a TTL level CPU, my own CPU, my own computer. And I had a comparator in that one. I don't remember what part number I used. I think it was two four-bit comparators, um, but um, it was used in the ALU section of the CPU, the arithmetic logic unit. And uh, usually those things have a, is it less than, is it greater than, or is it equal, or is it zero? And you need all those conditions. And this one could be used to check for, um, uh, are they equal? Okay, that was chip of the day, an AM25LS2521.